let's start the journey with exploration from the network edge towards the network core. The end systems or hosts sit at the edge of the network, access networks, connected to the core through edge routers. An edge router is the first router on the path to any other end system. Digital subscriber line, cable, fiber to the home or fiber, dial-up, and satellite are among the options to provide core access to the edge router. An access network is a network that physically connects an end system to that first router, the edge router. If the end system is within a home, end systems are usually connected to the edge router through Wi-Fi. If the end system is within an enterprise, access is usually provided with Wi-Fi or Ethernet. If the end system is on the go, wireless and mobile infrastructure provided by the cellular network provider provide the access through 3G, LTE, or 5G technologies. Let's dig a little bit further into a few of these access technologies. Digital subscriber line, DSL, is still the only option to provide internet access to some areas. DSL connection uses the existing wired local telephone lines. Therefore, DSL internet access is usually provided from the same telco, meaning the local telephone company that provides the wired local phone access. Data over DSL phone line goes to the internet and voice over the DSL phone line goes to the traditional telephone network. This direction of transmission from home to network is called upstream. Transmission from network to home is called downstream. A DSL modem is used in home network to encode and decode upstream and downstream data. The home DSL modem translates digital data to high frequency tones for transmission over telephone wires. A splitter is also used where data and voice signals are combined. Therefore, traditional residential telephone line will carry telephone signal and upstream and downstream data, each encoded in different frequencies. Digital subscriber line access multiplier, DSLAM, sitting in the telco's local central office, translates those analog signals from many such homes into digital format and back. While DSL makes use of pre-existing telephone infrastructure, cable access makes use of cable TV pre-existing infrastructure to provide internet access. In the cable network, fiber networks provide connection to each neighborhood from where homes will receive access through coaxial cable. The system is therefore is referred to as hybrid fiber coax or HFC. In cable TV infrastructure, different channels are transmitted in different frequency bands. Unlike DSL, which has dedicated connection to central office, homes share access network to cable head end. Cable modem at the home end and cable modem termination system CMTS at the office end perform the analog to digital encoding and decoding. A specific property of the cable network is its broadcast nature, meaning that all data sent by the head end travels downstream on every link to every home. Data sent by the home travels on the upstream channel to the head end. Digital subscriber line, DSL, and cable are still the most prevalent types of broadband residential access, with fiber to home gaining more popularity. These technologies bring the connection to home. Within a home, a local area network, LAN, is used to connect an end system to the edge router. Ethernet and Wi-Fi, 
most commonly Wi-Fi, are the technologies that are used for this access. Enterprise setting, like corporations and universities, more commonly use Ethernet for access. However, due to mobility and a smart work areas, and bring your own device policies, Wi-Fi access within enterprises is also becoming more common. When you're within our home or work area, we're usually very static or nomadic within a small range like a building. That is why we can use local area networks like Wi-Fi. However, being connected while on the go is getting increasingly popular. We use our devices to watch movies and download music while we are on the bus, in a car, or on a train. Wi-Fi, even though a wireless technology, is a local area network technology and could not be used for mobile users. Wide area access networks, WANs, are used to provide access to mobile users in wide area networks. From third generation, 3G, to long-term evolution, LTE, to fifth generation, 5G, of cellular access, we have different technologies providing wide area network access. 